Alrighty, hello guys, welcome to Faces back to another Stormworks Build and Rescue video. Today we are continuing on with the supply ship that we were building last time. Essentially what we did last time is we turned it from a hull into a ship. <laughs> That's essentially what we did. We made it look like a ship and it uh, works like a ship, which is awesome. Uh, the problem we do have now is that... Whoa, what just happened? Oh, everything just froze and I ended up inside. That's weird. Um, but yeah, the problem we have now is that this doesn't actually work right, does it? The door actually opens up into um, that, which is, is not the best. That is definitely not the best. So I'm thinking we have to raise this little bit up right here, uh, which will raise everything else on the top up a little bit. And that's how we're going to raise it all up. So uh, let's go ahead and do that first. And then what we'll do from there is we'll work out where the crane's going to go on the back of here. We'll work out where the crane controller person's going to sit, probably in there. And uh, we'll figure all of that out. Yeah, let's get on with it. Okie dokie, so first things first is actually grabbing this entire piece and lifting it up. So we're going to grab it from here, uh, all the way back to there, that's fine, all the way around to this side, and then all the way around to this side, there we go, awesome. Uh, and we are actually grabbing all of this, so essentially we just got to do this, there we go, awesome. Uh, grab every little bit at the front and every little bit at the back. Going to go ahead and cut it once, move it up one, paste it again. And then we just have to copy and paste this bit in all the way around, and we should be good, actually. It's not going to be that much of an issue, actually. Uh, which is perfect, because, yeah, I thought it was going to be. <laughs> I honestly thought it was going to be a massive issue, this, because uh, we did it last time on our tugboat, and it just didn't look very good. But um, the way we fixed it this time is so much better. Uh, yeah, no, this is perfect. All right, fill all that in. Merge these pieces together, which is awesome. Obviously, fill that little bit in right there as well. And voila, it's all fixed. Uh, we can now actually walk inside, and that is perfect. Uh, the problem is, we can't actually do anything with this bit unless we do this. That, that's all we can do to fix that, which is unfortunate, but it's what we've got. So <laughs> that's what we're going to have to use, isn't it? It is. That is, that is exactly what we're going to have to use. There we go. That is fixed, and that is actually awesome. Totally works. Okay, so now that we've actually fixed that little bit right there, we're going to go ahead and try and sort out something back here. Essentially, what I want to do is I want to separate this bit from the rest of the uh, the rest of it because, um, yeah, it doesn't look very good at the moment. So we're going to pl flip this over. We're going to drag it out this way, and we're just going to do something like this. Uh, although, actually, no, something like this. Uh, oh, God, that would have to go like that. Yeah, okay, that works. Uh, and then something like this, and voila, there we go. No, that totally works. Uh, I'm going to paint all of this on this side a different color to this side, uh, and this is where the crane's going to go. All right, so let's go ahead and get painting, shall we? We're going to make it... I'm going to make it pink for now, actually. There we go. We're going to make it pink, and we can change it to whatever color we want it to be uh, whenever we want to. So there we go. It's going to be pink for now, uh, and we got to sort that out to be a different color, which, you know, is probably going to be gray. So there we go. Nice. All right, so as for the bits on the side and stuff like that, we need to sort this out because I actually need to be able to see through here. So we're going to open up this entire section right here. We're going to delete all of this. Uh, and this is actually going to be a massive window. Yes. Uh, and the main reason for that is because I need to be able to see the crane as I'm using it. And this just makes sense, uh, well, to do this. So we're going to go ahead and put that piece right there. We're going to put a double piece right next to it so that we can actually see through. And that is how we're going to run this. That is fine, I think. I don't know. It might be a little bit weird. Not going to lie. It might be a little bit strange. But at the same time, uh, if it's what we've got, it's what we've got. <laughs> and that's what we'll be doing. So there we go. That's all open. And we can actually see through, which is perfect. Uh, we do need a floor in here, like a flooring color. I'm not entirely sure what kind of colors we want. So let's just go with... Green for now. Green is like a nice color for, for like commercial ships. Uh, I don't want it to be green out here though, so we're going to have to color in all the way around the inside. Uh, and that's just the way it's going to have to work. So let's go ahead and quickly paint all of this around the inside. Do all of this right here as well and paint it all the way around there. Then we can jug it and it doesn't do the outside. Perfect. No, this is actually really, really cool. I like it. Also, that bit could be green too uh, and that would be completely fine, but I, we're not going to do it that way. We're also going to make the interior of here green as well, uh, purely because I can. 
All right, there we go. So we're going to go ahead and jug this in the middle right there. And the interior is now green as well, which is pretty awesome. Now, I don't really know what kind of crane I want to put on the back of this thing. I was assuming I was going to build something relatively small uh, in terms of crane size. So I'm thinking quite a skinny crane down the middle uh, or something like that. And I think that will be awesome. Now, I am also thinking that if we put a winch on top of here, we can actually start the crane off like boosted out a little bit. So we'd actually delete this and we'd have it come out further in order to actually reach a little bit further backwards on the boat. Which, I'm not entirely sure I need to do that, but um, yeah. No, we're gonna have it stay where it is. We'll see if we can do it from here. Alright, so I'm obviously not very good at doing cranes, as you guys probably already know. But um, we're gonna go ahead and build it in uh, somewhere around here. So we're gonna start it back here. Uh, it's gonna be pink for now because reasons and things. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and delete this little section right here. We're going to get ourselves a pivot. It's going to be one of these ones. Uh, and it's going to be a... Um, fluid pivot, I guess. Uh, so we can actually transport fluids through it if we need to. Which I guess makes sense. So we'll put that right there. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and paint it from underneath. Uh, just so we have a nice looking room down here. Uh, obviously there's nothing in this room just yet. But we can obviously fill it up. Uh, very soon with something, uh, and that would be cool. But anyway, for now, we got our little crane. Alright, good. We're gonna go ahead and add some stuff to it. I don't know what shape it should be. I honestly have no idea with these things. So I'm kind of feeling like we should make it actually relatively large in terms of this little bit right here is gonna be quite big. Uh, so we're gonna do something like this. Uh, we're also then gonna do these pieces like this. Alright, very cool. Uh, and we'll actually do this down the outside. So on this bit and this bit, we'll actually raise it up. But the middle piece isn't going to. So I think that makes sense. So we'll do this like this. Awesome. All the way up to there. Uh, we're going to fill in these pieces like this. There we go. Uh, same with this bit and same with these pieces. So that there. And also this here. And then we're going to fill this bit in. There we go. It's going to be a hollow uh, thing for now. Because there's no point in filling things in if you don't need the weight. So we don't need the weight. So we're going to keep it like this. Alright, so now that we've got it to this point right here, we need to actually make sure that we can actually flip things up. So, realistically, I would want to do this, uh, but unfortunately, because uh, this is like one piece, if that makes sense, uh, and this is another piece, um, it's not going to work the way I want it to. However, if I do do that, we have a chance of making this work nicely. <laughs> we do, we have a chance of making this work nicely. So we're going to fill this in like this, we're going to do it like that, that's fine. Uh, we're actually going to drag these pieces up to the same point, I believe. Uh, which I think will be fine. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, and we're going to figure it out from there. So do those pieces, do those pieces. And then we're going to have this bit actually rotate. So it's going to come out. Uh, and this is going to be our rotatey part. Now, I'm not entirely sure how I want this to work. <laughs> I have no idea how I want this to work. Undo all of that. What am I doing? Undo these pieces on the sides. Okay, we want to fill this in, I think. Uh, and we want it to be able to rotate, so... I want it to raise up and also r lower down. Okay, so I'm actually thinking if I literally do something like this, then we get it boomed out like that, that's fine. Uh, and then we'll fill in the middle pieces and we'll do the opposite on the top. So essentially we fill four, uh, we do it again and again and again, four, four, and then four. And then we put this bit on the top, the other way around, and we whack it on there like that. Uh, and that essentially gives us quite a nice crane arm uh, looking thing. <laughs> quite a nice crane arm looking thing. Does that even make sense? I'm going to go ahead with and say yes. Um, but then we've got a crane arm like this, which is perfect. However, we need to add things. So we need a winch on the end of this. Uh, and I'm actually going to go with a medium winch because it just makes sense. So we're going to put that there like that. Uh, that does mean that we have to sort of like attach this to it, which... In what world does this actually work properly? I don't know. But if I do something like that, that would be pretty cool. Um, and then we can just attach it straight down to there. I don't know how this should work. I have no idea how this should work. What happens if we deleted this? Oh, wait. If we deleted all this side. There we go. And then we just do something like this. There we go. And then flip it over. I don't know how we do the other bit. <laughs> I don't know how we have the return going on. Unless we don't. Unless we literally just have it go like this. Which is kind of interesting, but does it work? I guess it does. It's kind of strange, but sure, we'll we'll roll with it. Uh, right, okay. So, this bit right here is going to be pink too. Because I think it should be. 
Should be the same color as everything else. And then we need it to rotate on that. So, essentially, it doesn't matter if there's anything behind it. I'm thinking we actually do something like this. Here we go. Do that right there. And actually bring it this way. There we go. Fantastic. That's good. We'll do the same on this piece. Like this. Oh, we can't. Damn it. Oh, that's super annoying. That is super duper annoying. Uh-oh. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to delete one around the entire edge of this thing. And hopefully, with this being done, uh, we'll actually have quite a nice shape from doing this. Which I believe will now fit here. I hope. Okay, there we go. No, it does fit. Perfect. Grab this piece. Put it on right there. We're doing this on both sides. And whack this in. All right, very good. There we go. Do this on this side as well. Nope, the right way around. Good. And then do it on this side, which is already done. And we'll fill this in like this. That's awesome. Fill this little bit in. Uh, if I can do this bit too, uh, that means that it can't actually aim down, which I do want it to do. Oh my. Why is this so difficult for me? I hate when things like this, this happen. Um, right, okay. But that's okay. So then if we put a pivot in, like this one. Okie dokie. We need to put this somewhere in here like this. Okay, because I believe I need to put a piston on it. Yeah? Do we do we actually want a piston sort of thing going on? I feel like we do. <laughs> but I don't really know how they work. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Alright, connector. I think it'll give it a little bit extra strength. So I think that makes sense. There we go. Uh, and then I guess we just put one up there, but we're not going to. We're not doing it. We're not. We're not going to do that. Undo everything. Put it all back. Put it all back. All right, there we go. So now it should rotate. That'll all be fine. We're going to go ahead and fill this little bit in in the bottom. Okay, we can rotate it up. We can't rotate it down because of this piece. But if we do this, that'll be fine. There we go. Put that little bit in as well. Very good. Uh, we're actually going to fill these in. Uh, purely because we can. There we go. I suck at cranes. I don't know whether you guys noticed, but I do. Really, really suck at building cranes. Anyway, uh, with that being said, <laughs> let's add this piece to here. Uh, let's add this. Oh god, how do I fill this bit in? That bit on there, and we'll just do... We'll do this. There we go. Alright, it's fine. Don't worry. Put that piece on there. Very good. Okay, so... It's all fine. It's all, it's, it, it's not. Is it? I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Guys, I'm struggling here. Put that there, put that there. And we got ourselves a weird crane thing. Alright, good. Just what I needed. Is it? No, I don't know what I'm doing. Delete these. I'm going to say that that's a crane. It's not the best looking crane. We obviously need to change its color and everything. But let's say we do change its color to gray. Does that look okay? I, I, I don't know. I guess it does. All right, let's, you know what? Let's just try it out. So let's say we have our crane there. That's fine. Uh, if we wanted to extend it, we can't uh, in terms of like an actual extension piece inside. We would be able to do that if we changed it, but I'm not changing it yet. Uh, right, so helm. This is the easiest way to test. We're going to put a helm in here. All right, this is going to be our control seat. There we go. We're going to move it. Actually, we're just going to put it. We're going to put it there. All right, that's fine for now. Uh, up and down is not this one. There we go. Up and down is this one. Very good. That's it. That's all we need. Battery. Let's just go ahead and whack in a small one real quick. Inside it. Uh, somewhere. There we go. We got a battery inside. That's... No, okay. That's not inside. Now we've got a battery on the inside. Okie dokie. No, we don't. Now we do. <laughs> okay. Uh, I can't believe this is this is taking so long for me to do this. But anyway, do that and that. There we go. That's awesome. Let's run it in. Let's see if it works. You know what? That crane... It looks weird, but doesn't look too, too bad. Which is awesome. Alright, here we go. Get in the seat. There we go. We can turn it left and right. And we can also lift it up and lower it down. As much as it needs to. That is... It works. Guys, it totally works. I think it needs to be a little bit longer. Also, I do kind of want to figure out this bit, so uh, we're going to change this little bit of the crane. In fact, we're going to change all of this side of the crane. It doesn't work the way it is, uh, and I don't like it the way it is. So we're going to fill this in like this. There we go. We're actually going to go ahead and put this bit on here. Like this. There we go. Awesome. Do the same thing on this side. All right, make sure we do the same thing on every side of this, because I do want it to be symmetrical here. I don't know why I do, but I do. We're also going to fill this little bit in down here. 
like that. There we go. That makes sense. And we're going to extend the entire thing. So we're going to delete that. We're going to do something like this. And it's going to go out two more. There we go. I think that just makes sense. There we go. All right. Delete that one and that one. And delete this one as well. Put this in. Okie dokie. Delete that. Delete this. Delete that. Fill all of this in. Delete this. Put that in. And voila. There we go. That's how big it should be. Winch. Here we go. Put the winch in. Put it there. That's awesome. And then we got to figure out how to make that look right. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how I want this to work. I feel like it should all just be quite chunky. But at the same time, I don't think it should be. Not really. I mean, it is going to be, though, if I do this. All right, let's say we do that. And then let's say we just attach this straight onto there like that. Does that look okay? Because I don't think it does. I don't feel like it does look okay. Let's do a little wave down the side. Why not? There we go. A little bit of a chunky wave down the side. That's fine. And then we, if we paint it a slightly different color, we'll be fine, right? All right, there we go. So it spawns like that. It looks pretty strange, but that's okay. Let's get inside and we'll see if we can move it around. If we can, that's perfect. Here we go. So we can go all the way to the side. That is awesome. That's as far as we would need it to go. Just slightly over the ship. That's perfect. We go to about the middle of the deck, which is perfect as well. And if we go to this side, we are obviously very good too, which is amazing. All right, that's that's really good. Nice. All right, I'm not going to lie. We do need an inverter for this thing because it currently doesn't work properly. But um, we're going to go ahead and whack that onto the turn because that's what's the problem at the moment. Uh, we're also going to put the turn on sticky. There we go. So that is crane. Crane. Um, turn. Turning. Crane turning, sure. Uh, crane, uh, lift, <laughs> crane lifting, <laughs> sure, uh, I'm not gonna lie, my brain is pretty dead tonight, because it's like, it's quite late, but, um, we'll put it on sticky, that's okay, we'll put it on sticky as well, that's pretty good, this is crane, uh, seat, crane helm, 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 there we go, very good, uh, and that totally works, that's good, nice. Okie dokie, so let's say we are going to use this crane now. We can actually turn it to the right and it totally works. We can turn it to the left and it also totally works. Uh, if we want to lower it down, we can lower it down. If we want to lift it up, we can lift it all the way up to the top. <laughs> we can lift it all the way up to there so we can actually grab things below us uh, and that would be completely fine. Awesome. Obviously, we don't have an active stabilizer right now, but um, it totally works anyway, which is... Perfect. All right, so I was thinking the crane still looks a little bit weird, but if I did something like this, does it still look like that weird? Is this strange if I do if I do this on every single one of these? I, I genuinely don't know. Uh, so let's say we do that to all of them. So this one as well. There we go. Very good. Then we'd be able to come into here, put this little bit right there. That's good. Do that to there. This to here. This to here. This to here. And it doesn't look that wobbly. It doesn't look that much worse, which is, is a good thing, I think. Uh, we'd then delete this piece. We'd put this in. Uh, right there and we'd actually join this straight up uh, to here and that would totally work out fine I guess yeah sure uh, we need rope storage and stuff like that as well which would be fine uh, I also kind of want to add another bit of this uh, just to stop people actually coming through here if that makes sense so we would do something like that there we go do something like that as well but we delete these two uh, we delete this as well obviously put this in there okay very good and we'd have this sort of joined together uh, over here, which I think does make sense. But at the same time, I'm not sure. Yeah, you know what? We'll keep it like that. All right. So with that being said as well, then let's go ahead and quickly paint those pieces. So we'll paint this on the top like this. We'll paint it on the inside and on the bottom. There we go. Very good. Uh, and I think that actually doesn't look too bad like that, which is amazing. We've built something that is all right. Uh, the crane itself, a little bit weird. Not going to lie, but... um. That's okay. All right, so we're actually going to follow on the tradition of the previous ship as well. We're actually going to change its outside main color for this episode as well. So we're going to replace the frantic red with a different color. What is it going to be? I'm actually going to change it for... Oh, that looks nasty. We don't want that. Peach? Oh, that looks weird and interesting. Yellow. We're going to go with yellow because this is the color of the previous ship. Uh, the way it started. So we'll go with that and... Uh... Yeah, we'll see what you guys think of it. Anyway, let's spawn it in. I think it looks much better in-game than when it's in the workbench. So, <laughs> yeah, that's interesting. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and leave this like this for now. Thank you guys very, very much for watching. 
Today we ended up fixing the inside of that, which is awesome. We ended up adding a crane as well, which is pretty cool. And um, yeah, I'm actually really happy with this thing. We might extend the deck of the ship a little bit in the next one. Or we might start with the engines. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but let me go ahead and get up here. And we'll see what the view is like in first person. So we can't actually see down there, which kind of sucks a little bit. I might remove some of this window uh, and try and sort out another window. In fact, let's do it now. Let's do it now. Quickly, get in there. We're actually going to delete the ones that are actually merged with these windows, like that. Uh, and we can actually fit a window in there. So let's do it. Here we go. Window one by one. We're going to fit that right there like that. That's awesome. And then we're going to fit a one by three because that obviously fits in the middle. Uh, we're obviously going to paint those the right color. So bam, bam, bam. Bam, 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 bam. There we go. Fan dabby dozy. And we'll obviously do that as well, which is perfecto. Perfecto. We can't get rid of this one because it is actually a bit of the uh, side. Unless we did, which in that case, we would need something that fits in there. Which I think is now a new piece. It's actually like this thing. But, um, yeah, it fits like that. There we go. No, oh, that actually works. But then it looks weird from the outside, doesn't it? If I if I fit this in like, like that, then this bit looks strange. Although, does that matter? I don't know if that matters. There we go. Paint that. And we'll, we'll leave that like that and we'll see. All right, paint that little bit in as well. And I think that works, actually. All right, spawn it in. Let's jump back in there. And we'll have a quick little look and see what that's like. Here we go. Yeah, now we can actually see down onto the deck. We can lower this down. We can turn it around. We can actually put some cameras up there if we need to as well. Uh, just to assist us. But um, yeah, our crane totally works. Cool. There is actually one more thing that I do want to do to this thing. And it is sort of adding like something to the side of this. Now, I'm not entirely sure what I want to add there. But uh, let's say we added something like, I don't know, something like... I guess something that follows the shape of this a little bit, so it would go somewhat like, oh god, like this? Alright, so we're going to start it about there. Alright, so that would go down like that, okay. We'd have a piece that goes backwards on the top like this. Alright, very good. Uh, like that, there we go, fine. We'd then have a piece like this piece that goes down, oh, maybe we should have it in a straight line actually. Let's do that, so we'll have it go like this. Hmm. Hmm. I'm not sure where I want to put this, but essentially I want to put something on the side that does something like that. There we go. Something like that. That would then go backwards also, so it would go like this. Alright, to there. We'd have a piece in the middle that did exactly the same thing, pretty much, like this. And then we'd attach these together. Like that. And then, like, if we continued that on, like this... But we can't really do that because of the shape of the thing. But that would be cool because it adds something to the side and it just makes it look a little bit better, doesn't it? So if we put that in there like that, and then we put this in here like this. Oh, maybe not. Oh, God. Oh, I don't know. That would end up going like that, but nah. Also, that wouldn't be there. Yeah, we're going to add something like this to the side in the future, but for right now, I can't figure out how I want it to look yet, so... We'll leave it for now, but uh, in the future we'll build something on the side of there like that. Or we'll just have a big frantic logo. We'll see. Anyway, thank you guys very much for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed it, let me know in the comments down below. And we'll see what we can do in the next one. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Goodbye.